Median smoothing straight onto a graph is okay when you have an odd number of points, but when you have an even number of points in the groups that you're smoothing, it gets a little bit tricky because it's a couple of steps involved when you do the centering. So I'm going to run through what that looks like for median smoothing with centering straight onto a graph. I'm not sure which book this question comes from, but someone posted this on VCE notes and it is quite a doozy. So I'm just going to go through how this works. The question says, Charlie has been a casual employee in a roof insulation company since 2008. His quarterly net pay is shown on the time series below. And then we're asked, use four median smoothing with centering to smooth the time series plot. Plot the smoothed series on the same graph above. Mark each smoothed data point with a cross. Okay, so we're going to have to do this in two steps. We're going to do the four median smoothing and then we're going to do the centering step. So let's start with the four median smoothing. This is my first group of four here. So the middle of them going across is between the second and the third. It's between here and here, somewhere along this line. And going up the page, the middle is going to be between the second and the third as well. So this is the first one I hit going up. This is the second and this is the third. So in between those two, is where the median will be vertically and horizontally. So the median point is there. Now I look at the next group of four going along, which is those ones there. The middle of them going across is between the second and the third, so that's somewhere along here. And going up the page, that's number one, two, three. So halfway between the second and the third going up the page is where the median will be, so we end up with it there. Next group of four is these ones here that I'm looking at. So going across, we're between the second and the third, which is here. Going up the page, that's the first one, that's the second, that's the third. So halfway between the second and the third is where the median is. So we put it here. The next group of four to look at would be these ones. So we're talking halfway between the second and the third going across puts us on this line. The first one going up is there, the next one's that, and that's the third. So halfway between the second and the third going up puts us here. The next group of four is these four here. So between the second and the third going across we're looking on this line here and going up the page that's number one, two, three. So between the second and the third is where the vertical median is which makes it there. And the last group of four is these four here. So between the second and the third going across I'm talking about somewhere on that line there and now I need to look vertically. One, two, three, four. So halfway between the second and the third puts me on this line here. Now the reason I didn't draw crosses, X's for those is I don't want to confuse them with the actual final answer because I need to do the centering step still. So the centering step is looking at these blue dots that I've now drawn, finding the middle of each set of two. So these two here, the middle of them horizontally going across is along this line. And they're both along the same vertical coordinate. So that right there is where my centered new median point is. Now looking at these as a group of two, halfway between them horizontally is along here and halfway between them vertically is there at that point. So I'm going to put a cross over that point. Now looking at these as my next group of two, halfway between them horizontally is here and halfway between them vertically they're on the same point. So I'm just going to draw my cross there. Now looking at these two as my next couple, halfway between them horizontally is on this line and halfway between them vertically is on that line. So that is the median point. And the final pair is just there. Halfway between them horizontally is on this line and halfway between them vertically is about there. So that's where my cross goes. Now all that's left is to join them up. So I just draw a line between the crosses like that. 